the primary focus was trying to give uh, Simon, our robot, the ability to understand when a human being seems to be reacting appropriately or in some sense is interested now in a response with respect to Simon and to be able to do it using a, a visual medium, a camera, so that we don't have to wire the person up and uh, doesn't necessarily have to be nearby because cameras can see it at a distance. The idea was, can we determine when a user, when a person, is interested in interacting and attending to Simon? And the way it worked was that Simon would make some form of a gesture or some form of an action uh, when the user was present, and the computer vision task was to try to determine whether or not you had captured the attention of the human being. Uh, the results were um, very encouraging. We were able to, uh, with not a very sophisticated thresholding mechanism, uh, able to achieve, uh, percentage is a little hard to achieve, let's say an 80% ability to determine whether or not someone was attending uh, to Simon's gesture. And this was without using things like gaze, uh, and uh, body position. So this provides yet another cue that we can then couple with those other cues uh, to get an even more accurate uh, uh, response. We would like to bring robots into the human world. That means they have to engage with human beings and human beings have an expectation of being engaged in a way similar to the way other human beings would engage with them. Other human beings understand turn taking. They understand that if I make some indication uh, they'll turn and face someone when they want to engage with them, and they won't when they don't want to engage with them. In order for these robots to work with us effectively, they have to obey these same social conventions, which means they have to be able to perceive the same things humans perceive in determining how to abide by those conventions.